Alright guys, welcome to part 3 on the 1985 Honda CR250. I think last video we ended where we left off with the cover not working. Um, you can see that it was cracked right there and I could not get that thing out of there. So um, I actually ordered up a new cover for it, found one for $100 and uh, came with a water pump, all that good stuff. And um, these covers are known to rot out like that. Um, the, the aluminum in there is really not great and all the covers online were actually bad too <laughs> except for the one I found which was up for 150 and it offered $100 and the guy actually accepted which was a nice surprise. I got the new gaskets for the water pump, I got the water pump seal, I got the little ball and spring that go into the kickstart, I also got the roller for the back right here, this roller right here I got, you can see that's just junk. So I got that. Oh, I forgot to get this thing. I still have to order that, the chain guide right there. But I could not figure out the caliper. I let that soak, so we're gonna try that again today uh, for the front brake. Uh, as you guys know, last video, the front brake was locking up pretty good. We're probably gonna dig into that at some point, maybe not today, because today I wanna get this thing started up and see if it runs. Um, that's the main goal for today. I got coolant over here. Got some coolant for it. We've got some oil. And then we've got, what else did we get for it? A little cup to measure out the oil here. But yeah, uh, I should run today if there are no leaks in the coolant line. Oh crap, I forgot about this cut right there. Hmm, what are we gonna do about that? Well, we can still start it with that. So, you can see there's a cut right there in the coolant line. Crap, I totally forgot about that. But maybe it'll cover enough of it so it won't affect it. But yeah, let's uh, take a look at the cover here. Got the parts over here. So first, first couple parts we wanna look at are from Babbitt's online. Oh, this one's from eBay. This is the roller. This little guy came. So that'll be nice to have. Got that. What else get in here? There's the water pump seal. Right there. Some stickers. Um, there's a little spring for the kickstart. Water pump gaskets, two of them. And there's that little ball that goes in the kickstart, so it pops back up. And then the receipt. So we got those. And then we've got the cover too. Here's the cover. I didn't get a chance to inspect it yet, so let's just quick inspect that together. Kind of crappy compared to my cover. We're gonna have to repaint it for sure. But you can see, ooh, it's a little corroded down there. You can see it's pretty white down there. We're gonna have to really clean this up. But it comes with the water pump cover. Then you twist it around. It comes with this mechanism right here. Seems to be pretty good. Oh crap. Look, this was repaired at one point. He never said that. Ah, that sucks. You can see the JB Weld right here. On it. So it looks like it was repaired at one point. Oh, I did not know that. That really sucks. Um, we'll have to see if we can still use it. That's really corroded in there. Hmm. It's not looking too good. I guess we'll take this mechanism off. Check out that seal. Clean out in there. And uh, see if that leaks anything through there. 
well, now we know why the guy sold it so cheap. Covers pretty much junk. Take off this bolt here. See what the water pump looks like here. Doesn't look too great. What's that thing growing in there? Look at that thing. That's crazy. I think we have to take that guy off of there. I don't know if that's reverse or not. Take the water pump off. We'll see how bad this is. It looks pretty, pretty toast here. Looks like a 10 mil. We'll try not reverse first. Maybe it's reverse. That's not good. Rounded that right off. <laughs> it's like sand in there. Crazy. Don't want that stuff going into the motor. All right, so that wasn't great. We do have a second spare one, but let's see what's underneath here. I think in order to get this off, you need to get that propeller out of there. I think we have to cut that off. All right, we got the Dremel out here. We're gonna try to cut the bolt only, trying to keep the shaft on there. See if that's possible.
All right guys, so it looks like that went right through the case. So this is just corroded beyond belief. I'm going to ask for my money back um, because I did not know that this thing was just eaten all the way through. You can see all the white is just, yeah, one hole right there, hole right there. There's a hole, uh, JB Weld right there. So that's really not great. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna ask eBay, see if I can get my money back here because I spent a hundred bucks on this and it's worse than my other one. So uh, we're gonna have to try to figure out something else. I'm not really sure what to do with this now. All right, well, that cover is unusable, has tons of holes in it, was JB welded, and is corroding horribly. Um, so I looked on eBay. There aren't any covers for sale on eBay. So, well, there is one for like $400. I'm not gonna spend that much on it though. So I don't know if we have to repair this one or what. Um, really, the damage on this thing isn't really that bad. It's just this thing broke off. So I'm wondering if we could like stick a tube in there and like solder it or something. I'm not sure what the metal is that's made out of, like aluminum or something. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just inspect this right now and um, see how bad the pump is. See if it's corroded in here. I don't think it is corroded, but I guess we'll just check and find out there. All right, let's go look at the forums and see if it's reverse thread. All right, looked on the forum, it says it's not reverse thread. They're 99% sure it's not. So we're going to try to take this thing off. They said to put the bike in gear and put the back brake on. We'll see if that does the trick here. We've got a socket. Yeah, I'm not. Hmm. All right, we'll try it with, with the... Oh, crap. Oh, boy. I don't know how to get that thing off of there. Things on there tight. Hmm. Just rounding right out. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good at all. Look at that, just rounded right off. Oh boy. Do I just leave it on and send it like that? Scrape this gasket off. Hope for the best. Oh man, what do I do, what do I do? <laughs> I wish this could come off right up here. I wish we could get this off and somehow get a new fitting in there. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do here. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is look for like a a plastic fitting to go in here and then on the plastic fitting put some like silicone shove it down in there so it's nice and tight and then attach this tube to the rubber fitting and I think that might work as for this water pump um, <laughs> I don't think that thing's coming off of there so that is not good. It's just completely rounded off. It's it's a poor design by Honda here because if you round that off, there's no way you can get that off. So I don't know what people do. It's it's unfortunate. <laughs> you pretty much have to buy the whole new case, which really sucks, but um, yeah. I think what we're gonna do is do that rubber thing, put that thing on there, attach it all up, and see if that water pump seal leaks. I think that's the first step. 
we're going to clean up this gasket. We've got new gaskets for the water pump, so the water pump shouldn't leak, but I, I'm guessing the gasket on the inside might. Um, I cleaned it all out. Everything is clean in there, but I, I still feel like it might leak. I'm looking for holes up here. I don't see any up, up in there, so that's good. But, um, yeah, if anyone has suggestions on what to do, let me know, because I am stumped right now. All right, razor blade. Scrape some of this stuff off here. Try to make it as flat as possible for the new gasket. There's, there's a little corrosion on here too, but I mean, I think every single case cover you buy, you're gonna deal with that corrosion unless you buy a brand new one. I'm not really sure what to do. I think it was just a design flaw by Honda. And I don't know if they fixed it in other years, but I know 85 is not good. <laughs> not good at all. Okay, that looks pretty good right now. Let's see. Oh, and the guy got back to me on refunding me. He's going to refund me the money. At least eBay got back to me. Um, so that's good. All right, let's see if we can get this one off of here. All right, water pump cover gaskets are off now. Looking pretty good. Let's just see if the new gaskets fit on here. Hopefully they do. Here they are, right here. This is what happens when you buy an older bike. Nothing goes as planned. <laughs> hey, that fits. That fits real nice. Alright, gaskets are all on. Everything's buttoned up there. Just gotta figure out what to do with this little cutoff piece right there. Um, so yeah, we'll have to go to the hardware store and try to find something that'll fit in there. That we can just like, silicone in. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Alright, so I think we're gonna replace this thing right here. With this. Hopefully that'll fit on there. I don't really know how it's on. Looks like there's a bolt coming from the other side. So I think that just screws right in. But yeah, this one, look at the bearings, just completely gone. <laughs> so we'll replace it with a brand new one and uh, see if that works. All right, this sucker's on there. I'll use a hammer to pound it off. At least it's moving, I think. Alright, check this out. That's what was left of it. <laughs> it's uh, pretty much non-existent, the bearing. So this is the one that's replacing it. This one will go on there now. like that. Go on here. I think it's the same size. Seems awfully big. All right, new roller is installed, but the chain is very tight now. So we're gonna loosen up the chain. There are, I think these are 12 mil back here. Let's see. Yeah, 12 mil. We'll crack those 
and uh, try to loosen up this chain a little bit. See what happens here. Ooh, I need a hammer for that. Those are pretty tight. <laughs> See if we can do this. These are pretty stubborn. Oh my god. There we go. And the real fun one is that big bolt, or nut, I should say. We gotta somehow get loose. I think it's like a big sucker. Alright. I think, there we go, that one came loose. Huh? There we go. Alright, let's try to crack that big sucker on there. Doesn't fall off the stand here. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see if we can push this forward now. <laughs> push this wheel forward, I think. Just knock on that with the hammer. Okay, so we're one, two, three, four, five notches. This is a six and a half. This one's at six and a half. Chain is now perfect because we still need that chain guide on there so take that into consideration we tighten up this bolt back here so everything's good to go there one more part done with this thing all right I want to put the ball and spring in the kick lever so let's take the kick lever off and uh, start doing that this is 13 mil right here Off of there, should just slide right off. All right, so we're gonna take the screw out right here. And there should be a place for a ball and spring. I guess we'll find out here. This thing comes out. Oh yeah. Let's see. All right, so this is where the ball goes. Right there, I'm trying to find out where the spring goes. Okay, it looks like the spring is in there already. You can see 
Yep. So we just need the ball. All right, here's the part number for it. 9621108000. Just a little ball. Let's see if that fits in there. So basically that's going to go right there. And that'll push in there. You can see it's already on there. Oh, there we go. See how that works like that? Alright. Let's try to put this back on now. You need the spring. All right. Let's see what happens when you kick it over now. I'd say that's fixed. Awesome. Alright, we got the air compressor over here. We're gonna try to shoot these pistons out of the uh, caliper here. See what happens. Should be fairly interesting. Alright, we uh, we'll untwist this guy. All right, let's see if they can shoot out of here. Get my fingers out of the way here. Doesn't look like it are really locked up in there so I guess we'll look for a different caliper might have to buy that as well nothing's going too well here and um, yeah so whew, it's tough working on older bikes all right so I think what we're gonna do is put the pipe on and um, put some oil in this thing and just see if it pops over here I think that's what we're gonna do um, Obviously, we're not going to be putting coolant in it because the case is broken, but I think we've started up for just three seconds. We should be fine, and uh, nothing will go wrong if that happens. So let's quick put the pipe on, put some oil in it, crank it down, see if we have any leaks, and start this thing up for like three seconds, if it starts. We'll see. I think that's a good plan. All right, we got the pipe on, all connected up to the silencer. Everything's good to go there. All right, let's add a little oil. All right, that's good to go. Put a little pre-mix in there. And uh, we should be set. I mixed it really rich, just for security. All right, let's see if we're getting fuel. Yep. 
All right, here we go. Kick this thing over a couple times. See if she fires up. I don't know, I don't think it will. Maybe it'll pop. I don't know. Hopefully the kill start works too. Started like third kick. That is insane. Oh yeah, she's gonna rip. So basically, all that's holding us up is a stupid cover right there. Oh, I can't believe it runs. That's awesome. Things started up right away. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. No leaks. No leaking from the case at least. I don't see any leaks over here. Let's see underneath. Not seen any leaks yet. Guess we'll wait in the morning. Is there a leak around there? That's just coming from the the dipstick there. But yeah, oh. she's gonna rip. So that's the uh, first start on the 1985 Honda CR250. Pretty awesome that we got this thing fired up today. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with the cover yet. I think we're going to maybe order a new one. I'm not sure. We'll try. Try uh, a fitting that'll maybe fit into this little hole right there and then go from there. But uh, yeah, got quite a bit accomplished today considering um, everything that failed. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys learned something and uh, stay tuned for when we take the first ride on this thing, which will be whenever we fix that case. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, we are out.